We just had to talk about uh, UPF UK activities, at least some of them, and uh, also touch on some of the things that are happening internationally. And then uh, we can go into breakout groups, uh, or just to have a period of, of sharing ideas, how we can collaborate together, uh, how different organizations can work together. So we will have a 10-minute presentation, and then we will go forward. OK, I can use this? Yes. And this one? Oh, great. So I don't know what's running out of batteries. So if we have a mission statement, um, this is it. Particularly one phrase is, is used a lot uh, currently, which is creating an order, establishing an order of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. This is a, a vision, vision statement of, of UPF. So we wanted to um, celebrate the fact that actually recently uh, UPF um, was elevated in its consultative, consultative status. Just I think the Kings Federation has uh, quite a high level of uh, consultative status and they've been uh, working for a lot longer than UPF. Uh, just uh, 10 or more years more than UPF. But uh, for UPF, we were on a, like a special consultative status with ECOSOC. And I thought it was wonderful, but to have a, a general consultative status <laughs> means that there are more things that they will consult with you uh, from, from the ECOSOC, the Economic and Social Council of the UN. So we, we received that a few months ago. means that UN programs and activities then are channeled to a, like a more grassroots level through to our work around, around the world. Um, also, we've been in a, a dialogue with the Charity Commission for, for quite a while now. It's quite a slow process. In a sense, maybe we should have done, just like Alan, we should have started to be a, want to be a charity from, from the very beginning. And I know there was Discuss it. Tim was very much part of the, that. Tim Miller was, was really working on that in the beginning. But uh, this is what has happened, and uh, we re recently received a letter from the Charity Commission saying we would like to make you a charity. Maybe on this these grounds, you can also have on these grounds if you can prove that you know uh, you have this expertise. To be honest, they were baffled by so much we're doing. There's, there's too many things to consider, so we should have a better mm. So it's, we've been talking with them for four, four years, maybe. It's quite some time now. But it's, it's nice to know it's not whether we will become a charity or not, but actually what kind of charity we will become. So it's, it's come, hopefully next year. These are the areas that we, we'll work on that we work on, and um, I, we have, I have Are you reading or not? <laughs> so the inter interrelationship of religion and politics, family marriage, women's equality, empowerment, youth empowerment. We haven't done so much as sustainable development also. But we're Particularly the environment is something that we'll be doing. So, in the relationship between religion and politics, it's called it like harmony. So recently, Frank Hoffman came and he talked about how political and religious people should come together. And this is something that we will have There's more activities on to promote this dialogue. That's red. Okay. Uh, family and marriage. 
Um, last year, I don't know if we did once or twice together, but together with Women's Federation, we did uh, two family festivals, also together with Family Federation. Uh, we did uh, two festivals. This is one in, in May to promote family and, and marriage. And uh, so in November, November 10th, we did another one. Nicola Bailey. It's just, it's just that um, she's got special skills uh, in parenting, uh, being parenting programs, and she's offered uh, to actually do parenting courses right here. Uh, if you are interested in that, uh, please let me know or, or send us an email because uh, I, I can recommend it 100% because I've been, I've followed her course twice and uh, in South London particularly. Uh, and and it, it's really brilliant, you know. We think we know everything because I'm grandmother now. But amazing, amazing pointers as to how we can get better parenting skills. So if if you know yourself or you know someone, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Starts on January 12th. It's six weeks. It's Saturday afternoon. It's a Saturday afternoon uh, for two, like an hour and a half or two hours. Okay. And uh, it's just 30, 30 pounds. Yeah, if you could just give, for, just say, yeah, for, for, for the whole course. Uh, so if you give me uh, just an email uh, to UPF, yeah. I'll, I'll follow it up. She's a good friend and she lives in Salon. Thank you. Well, this is a, um, in, in the area of women, uh, we try to really do work in, um, um, as we are an NGO, we are an NGO, we do international days uh, that we can, that we're interested in. So we do women, we try to do, uh, without fail, International Women's Day, and we also um, do the, um, together with WFWP, the uh, um, Elimination of Violence Against Women, which, which I, it's very close to my heart, because it's heartbreaking to see how many women are still in, in almost slave level in their lives even here in England, yeah. So therefore, uh, we have, we've just started uh, exploring, also with Elham's help, how to make some resilience programs for, this, for these women and, and uh, to actually bring them here and uh, understand their needs and like the program with her friend. That's one area. And also, uh, just proposal, I want to really look at that. Uh, even in the small group, if you can, uh, Jill, make a group, that would be great. Uh, a follow-up program to that, how we can actually uh, do the good that we want to do, how to bring partners together, etc. Right, uh, so later on, if you want to have a women's group discussion, then you can with us. This is um, just the, yeah, the 28. We had three, and you know, this is quite by chance. We had three baronesses from three different um, parties. Baroness Denise Labour, Baroness, um, Baroness uh, Verma is Conservative, and Baroness Eche is, is the Liberal Democrat, who also was my friend actually for some, some years before she was Baroness. So it's interesting you know, uh, that it happened like that. You know, usually we need one Baroness <laughs> to have an event, but we had all the three. It was brilliant. It is really very, very well uh, received, and we had people working in the field, that's what made it so interesting. And, and a person came from Birmingham, who if you hear her story, you would say, I want to help these guys, you know. Really, it's very heart-wrenching, you know, stories we heard from a couple of people, and from Jackie as well. Okay, um, that's that. Oh, this is youth again. Oh, but uh, you know, Matteo was talking about, um, uh, this is the mental health day where we're trying to Make the audience aware of what is the what is the um, uh, petition, and we launched the petition on that day. Yeah, that was good. Oh, this is again uh, Young Achievers Awards. I said every year we do it in, in July. But please, if you know some young people, uh, don't hesitate to send us the details because uh, these people really um, transforms their lives. Jacqueline told you that, that those, those young people, they thought that they were somebody. And yet they were always somebody. They were always doing good. But because we acknowledge it and we recognize it, and there are 
member of parliament comes to give the award, they really feel empowered. They really feel they can do more. So therefore, then this group of young achievers who try to keep together, along with James and Sam and also Matteo so far been very, very good. And Dominique's always been the coordinator of these events. And so with this help, we're really developing into a big group of young people, really, that needs to get to get another project going very soon. Uh, one thing, the uh, Universal Peace Federation is, is promoting around the world is this idea of a, a peace road. And the idea that highways are a source of trade, sharing of culture, sharing of ideas, meeting of, of people of different backgrounds and, and different religions. So uh, this year to have uh, a, a meeting to celebrate this uh, international highway uh, or peace road project we had it on the Irish border, and we were discussing Brexit. But in the process of that, we uh, went to the Battle of the Boyne. And we visit, went to the visitor centre. We heard a lot about this, particularly this uh, pivotal battle of, of which has influenced the, the way Ireland has developed. But uh, when you go into the details, you realise actually it's much, much more complicated, and it's not just a Protestant Catholic battle. It, Actually, the Pope was on the Protestant side, <laughs> so it was quite a, it's quite an eye opener. Um, this is the International uh, Peace Day, uh, which was very nice to show. Uh, models of community cohesion within within the Philippines. I want to mention uh, like a major project that International uh, UPF has. <laughs> Uh, which uh, Mother Moon has, has really promoted is the, the Sun Hack Peace Prize and, and now we're on the third uh, set of, of laureates. Uh, they'll be given this particular award next February. They've just been announced. They're two African uh, leaders. Okay. <laughs> They will receive this award in February at uh, the World Summit. Of um, Mother Moon also has been going to, well, currently she's in Nepal, but recently, in the early part of the year, sorry, in January, she went to Senegal and had quite a, a landmark conference hosted by the uh, Senegalese uh, Prime Minister's <coughs> or President's office. So the head of state was very much part of organizing. And also in the fall, this, at this time, it's going on now, uh, the Prime Minister of, of Nepal is helping to co-host this, this conference. And there are many heads of state and former heads of state attending. So we like to have this ambassador for peace network around the world. And that's uh, this network of idealism, basically. So it should be a way of promoting these ideals and values. Uh, we share these universal values. Uh, that's what helps us to work together. This is our. Uh